Go, go, Power Rangers! You mighty Morphin Power Rangers! We're talking about the Power Rangers leaks, man, so let's get on it. <laughs> yeah, knock, knock, open up the door! It's Will! Power Rangers stuff. I know this has been coming out for weeks, and I'm a huge Power Rangers fan, and I'm late to this party, so, but we're gonna talk about it now. Um, we'll talk about Rita Repulse since, since that was the first thing that came out. Um, Elizabeth Banks is like in her early 40s and she's like looking fine, looking young, whatever. Uh, like I feel like she's going to be a more active, more like, ah, I feel like she's not going to be like, oh, I have such a headache, blah, blah, blah. Like I feel like she's going to be more active in the fight. And I think there was even some like leaked footage or like photos of her like fighting the rangers in, in the city or like, destroying stuff. That would be cool to see her more in the field. So, similar to like Astronema or like Scorpina. Yes, I watched Power Rangers up to like in space in Lost Galaxy. Well, almost too far. I was like, almost in like middle school when I stopped watching it. They got some cool and interesting storylines. They killed Rangers. Okay, they killed one Ranger, but they killed a Ranger. That shit got nuts, man. Um, but yeah, uh, she also has some things to note. She looks a little bit green. And speaking of Scorp Scorpina, like looks like maybe she was drawing some inspiration from her costume in that, or maybe this is Scorpina and she took over and became the new Rita Repulsa, the new Empress of Evil. I know a lot about Power Rangers, guys. Like I said, she's green, which could kind of lend to the idea that she creates the Green Ranger. Maybe she's just using the green power coin or she has an un unknown power source, like the green candle. I don't know. Just like maybe more links to Tommy. And, and speaking of Tommy, if they get a Tommy, don't fuck that up. Like, these other things are getting, like, negative press because nostalgia. Oh, it's not my Power Rangers. I just want you guys to know this. Um, in the original Power Rangers movie, they weren't going to give them those cool, awesome costumes that some of you are, like, are, are praising and wish they were like. They were going to get rid of, the, like, the sunglass visors and the mouth guards, and they were going to paint their lips and their eyes. Just FYI information you own. So, just letting you know. Hollywood almost fucked this up once before. So, if you don't... Just because you don't like this, just, just letting you know. It could have been worse. Water. I need to talk so I can talk normally. Ah, this water is quite delicious. And my name is Martin Freeman. Either you're busy passing or you're busy sassing. Ah. Back at it again with the white vans. So let's see. I was talking about Rita and her crew, her villains. Are we going to see Squat and Babu? Are we going to see a Scorpina to end this whole thing of, of her being Scorpina? Uh, Goldar, are they going to make him look badass? Because like that's like her main general in this battle. What about Finster, like the main monster maker? I, I, the putties! We haven't even seen the putties. Are, they, are these things going to look sweet? Are they, they going to look shitty? I don't know. I got about Rita, but let's talk about the Rangers themselves this immediately i know they look like they're a little bit iron manny with like the light up things but i almost want them to acknowledge that and make fun of it similar to how like you know when turtles came out and there people said their ooze was going to be like an alien in origin and they were going to be aliens and shit maybe they should like embrace the whole they look like iron man thing and maybe call the little things on the chest arc reactors but not the arc reactors we know from iron man maybe call them the active ranger communicator hub uh, and like that gives them like the power to talk to Zordon, to talk to each other. Um, gives them access to the Zords and whatnot. And just like you can see, like an active like di their active dinosaur like glowing on their chest, similar to the old power coins on the old action figures. Something cool like that. That's a cool idea. So Nickelodeon, if you, or Lionsgate, who whoever's making this, uh, if you like that idea, you're welcome. <laughs> Uh, but here, um, the, the suits look a little bit more alien, more scaly, almost like the dinosaurs, like they're representing. And I, I know there was like a description online that said like, oh, hey, like the suits are supposed to like be like more transformative, more metamorphosis since they're all going through puberty and stuff. And I'm like, eh, I kind of see that, but maybe you're just kind of covering your asses because you know you're copying Iron Man a little bit. But they all look pretty solid. Um, I have no real major complaints. I, I think some people said like the the female suits had like heels, which I'm going like, it's probably not the most comfortable or probably the most practical, but they're doing something different than the originals. So I don't know. These are only the first few things we've seen. Hopefully they don't screw up Zordon, Alpha. I, th I brought up Rita's uh, crew. Hopefully don't, they don't mess up that. If they have a Tommy, don't mess that up. Would Lord Zedge potentially show up? Don't mess him up. Any monster that we get that may be drawn inspiration from the original monsters, don't mess it up. And also, here's a crazy thought. If this movie is successful. Turtles has been moderately successful. It did okay. I mean, they're making a sequel to it. What if, like, similar to what Paramount's doing with the Hasbro universe, 
the Nickelodeon movies are trying to make like a TMNT Power Rangers crossover because Nickelodeon owns both right now. How insane would that be to have another t Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Power Rangers crossover in this day and age? It would be so awesome. I'm just like, I I'm shaking my head because I'm going, oh my god, like those giant turtles versus the Zords. Oh, Swords! I want to see the Zords too, man. Those things are going to be sweet, I hope. They, they can't be any worse than the ones from the original movie because that looked like ass compared compared to the toy. They were better off putting the toy in the movie fighting uh, Ivan Ooze. Just, oh my god, the thing was awful. Um, but yeah, I, I talked about oh, as much... I talked at nausea about the Power Rangers here. I'm sure you guys are tired of me talking about Power Rangers. So what do you guys think? Do you guys like these costumes? Do you think... Do you, are you like the rest of the internet? Do you hate them? Let me know in the comments below. And also, uh, what is your favorite costume from what season of Power Rangers? No Sentai's here. I don't care about that stuff, but if you like one, go ahead and put it in the comments. I'm not gonna dislike it or ban you. Or... There's a will, there's a way. And may the power protect you.